Hey, what's going on guys? First, I'd like to apologize for not posting in a long time, but my computer had a complete meltdown, but it's good, I'm good. We're back. We're gonna search this 2011 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Looks like it was in some sort of crazy accident. Let me show you the clip of what happened. Holy smokes, look at this thing is barely hanging by one bolt. We're gonna search it for goodies, weapons, guns, equipment. We're gonna try to figure out where it came from, where it's going, and I'm gonna try and find that biscuit. That's right, the quest to find a biscuit continues in 2021. You hear the sound of that? 2021 more like 2020 lost <laughs> look at this fat antenna that is very nice we got some good firestone firehawk tires we have uh spotlights so i paid 600 dollars for this car right here plus the towing oh, actually i towed it myself but during the, the unloading we accidentally damaged this very nice piece which i need it really bad yeah. <laughs> oh no, that was a good part. Like Unfortunately. Okay, let's take a quick look inside. Check out this setup right here. Very nice. This thing looks like it's full of goodies so let's go ahead and start searching i'm gonna go ahead and start from the front and work my way to the back but before we get to that let me give you guys a quick update all right we got two guys tv right here he is our brand new investor he's actually providing us with this whole real estate right here as the new garage studio for district 76 crown rick auto youtube channel we're gonna have a full shop here it's gonna be fully capable of any work spray painting all the filming in here we'll be able to have our office in here it's gonna be fully enclosed full roll-up door i mean i'm excited to see what we'll be, we'll be able to do you guys remember the loyalist eliminator it's been so long but it's still here this is going to be our very first project when we get this whole studio thing built right here secret location no loyalists no tweakers no bottom feeders the good thing is that we're out of the limits so we'll be able to do uh, whatever we we want to do you guys will see the progress of this garage being built every episode look who i brought with me today chase all right got my glove on there's a lot of good parts right here bam made some money there bam made some money here looks like they took the dash out out of this thing or maybe it flew off during this accident ah i really wish i knew what happened here gun strap here's a 12 gauge shot unspent very nice center console by havis here this is a mobile view this is actually it's only hanging here by svga cable keyboard here for this mobile view Here's like something for the mobile view. Touchmaster Unitrol. Still hooked in there, but no power. Something is not allowing it to power up. Could could be because the freaking computer is missing. Who knows? We'll be removing this thing. What in the world is this? This looks like a, a Bluetooth transmitter. Then there's a uh, Motorola Astro radio let's go ahead and add this to the collection uh, oh, some sort of uh light by wait a minute is this what i think it is this is a sencom thing this is i think that's what it's called but it's one of those things that um changes the light the traffic lights looks like i'm gonna be getting to work 
early every day this year. <laughs> Sick. Let's take a look around on the other side. No way. Oh, you guys see what this is? This is a like uh, some sort of maybe bulletproof SWAT gear thingy. Like it's galls. Sweet Motorola radio speaker. Hey, where's the glove box? Let's look under here. It's like a bunch of nothing. Okay, let's remove these before they get stolen. Oh no. Okay, this does not belong to a Crown Vic. This might have been from the car that hit this thing. Looks like pieces from a Ford Explorer. So that probably means two cops crashed together. Is that what I think it is? A police light in there. Oh look, I didn't even realize this thing is the headlight flashers. Okay, here it is. Federal Signal ES100. Okay, got all this stuff out. Pretty good, complete, original OEM jack. And look at this. It's some sort of rear. I don't see a name brand on this thing, but I'm gonna try to cut it up and see if I can get it to light up. This piece, I don't know what it goes to. Okay, I'm gonna take this seat out. Okay, not bad, it could be cleaned up. No biscuit under here, no hidden goodies. All right, pulled her out. Took a lot of clipping, but she's out. After I clean her up, this thing is gonna look so sick. These things are good for everything. Alright, let's look in the trunk. Just just give me a gun already. Chase. What the heck? Some sort of uh I think this is a snow sled. What in the world? A full-on transmission. And look at this. They tied the end with a with a zip tie handcuff. <laughs> Alright, let's start over here. Looks like we have a fire extinguisher. All right. You know, so funny. I had a dream last night that one of my cars caught on fire and I could not find the fire extinguisher, no matter where I looked. Weird dream. Oh, it's like maybe the brain to the Motorola. All right, and uh, right here we have a start guard. Those are always handy reflector tape sweet mother oh you see what this is license plate lights let's light these babies up now what color do you guys think this is let's find out oh sick nice these are 100% legal nice I like it mystery boxes guys coming soon Oh, a first aid kit all right these are always handy we got some band-aids oh nice some white shears chase you need a haircut Improper use may cause death. Ooh. 
like smokes. You see that? There's like marble size. Those are huge pellets in there. They're let's uh, let's go shoot these things off. Let's go test out that SWAT bulletproof pad. Jeez. <laughs> First one up is the one with the huge ball bearings in there. And then we're going to shoot this one real quick. Okay, hey, look. Funny man is still there. All right. Oh, man, this thing ain't got no more windows. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to see how tough this thing really is. Oh, let's check it out. Wow. Nope. It's not tough enough for a 12 gauge. It even went out the back. I didn't really think this was um, bulletproof, but there is some thick, heavy Kevlar type material on there. Let's shoot that water. Let's see if we get some fish. And check this out guys this is actually part of the studio also check it out we got a, a fireman pole right here you know for all the young aspiring firemen they could come and practice <laughs> yes this is exclusive for firemen, for firemen only, only. <laughs> <laughs> it's your evil thoughts 